And now we're recording. So Elliot, today is May 7th, 2020. Yeah. How old are you? Nine. And we've been home from school now for a couple months. Yeah. Since March because of the coronavirus. Yeah. And we've been doing learning kind of like this, like on Zoom and, and other computer things and some work packets. Um, so why don't we start just by you telling a little bit about what like a, a day in the life of Elliot looks like. So a day in the life of Elliot looks like is I wake up at 5.45 every morning. I watch TV till about 6, 6.50, around 6.50 to 7. And then I get up, I eat breakfast. Then I go, then I, then I have like my, like time where I get to like, where I get to do prodigy or I get to play outside and stuff like that. And then after that, we go to the shop with our dad. And then we come back around whenever my mom's done with her meetings. And then we come back and then we do our academics which is like reading, writing, math, and we do all of that stuff. And then we go for a walk or a bike ride, like for an hour. Mm -hmm. And then and then we go and then we eat dinner and then we take a bath, separate baths, and no showers. And then we go to bed. That is such a complete answer. Thanks, Elliot. So in your playtime, I'm wondering what toys or what activities have occupied you the most during your home time? A lot of drawing. Oh, nice. Yeah. Great. And you've been doing some drawing with your dad, I think, right? Yeah, and just a lot of doodling. Oh, a hummingbird. Nice. Um... And what's the best movie that you've watched or the show that you've been into in your um, A lot of um, Harry Potter. Yeah, it's great. Uh, it books, Harry Potter books. Yeah, you've been doing both, right? Watching the movie and reading some of it. Okay, so this next question has been a little bit confusing, so I'm gonna try and clarify. Uh, you probably, since you were very young, haven't spent this much time nonstop with Lucas since you were like three years old. And I'm wondering if you've learned anything about Lucas as a brother that you didn't know before. And I don't mean like, you know, he's memorized a certain poem. I mean, like, what have you learned about him just as your play, play buddy? Um, what I've learned about him is that sometimes he can be a little angry, but then he recovers. He's like, Mom, can we start over? Mm -hmm. And then, like, other times, just, like, he just, he's, like, done. Okay. <laughs> Maybe he heard us talking about him. Just kidding, Lucas. Hi, Lucas. And what has been, like, really fun about having a brother right now? What's a success? Um, that I have somebody to play with during this, or else I'd just be probably doing nothing. Mm -hmm. But most of the time, we're playing together. Like, Lucas is like, oh, we're playing with trucks right now, and then I'm just like, oh, I want to read Harry Potter with Mom, or something, or like those. Yeah, because it's kind of like your, your friend right now. Yeah. Um, so Elliot, what do you miss most about going to school? I feel like I learned more at school. Um, that's what I miss. And that I got to see my friends every single day. And it was, it was fun there. It's fun to be at school. To like, you get to learn new things every single day. Yeah, yeah. 
it's like an all day learning experience instead of like your little block of academics when you're home. Yeah. And what has been something kind of positive about this experience, like being home that maybe surprised you? You're like, actually, this is kind of cool that we... Um, that I get to like go for a bike ride. It's very nice because I love biking and mm -hmm. I, me and my brother made a jump. And do you feel like that's something you wouldn't have been doing if you were in normal school? Yeah, I get, yeah. Because yeah. we just have, we just have to get creative with what we have, with what we're doing. Right. That's a great way to say that. So, Elliot, if you could wish for one thing besides wishing for more wishes, right now, in this moment in time, what would you, what would your wish be? Um, for coronavirus to go away. So that we can have a normal life again. Do you even think though, that... even though I like having like a different lifestyle every like, cause on like when you go on a trip, you have a different lifestyle. Um, it's good to change it up every once in a while, but like sometimes you need to have it the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just have more of a routine again. Yeah. And when coronavirus does go away, what? Do you think you'll appreciate more than you would have if you hadn't had this experience of changing it up? Um, I would have just been happy that school's getting out right now. Yeah. Right now, because school's pretty much almost out. And I would just feel happy because we would be going to the ocean and we would get to go to summer school. Right. Like, it's just like when coronavirus is over, I'm going to just be like, I think doing the littlest thing, like leaving the state of Colorado is going to feel so yeah. exciting. Or like leaving the, or leaving like the county. <laughs> Even just leaving our county. Totally. Yeah. So, Elliot, what? Go ahead. And like one thing that I'm glad coronavirus did is because the fan might have to stay for the summer. Yeah, there are definitely some positives that are going to come out of this experience. Yeah. Um. So, Elliot, let's do a rosebud thorn uh, from being home for the last couple months. My rose is that, like, even from March. Uh huh. My rose is that I got to get out and do something for spring break off the grid. I got to go to an off the grid place. My bud is coronavirus ending and that Ben is staying here. And my thorn is the coronavirus is happening. Thanks. I think that's everybody's story. Yeah, it has been actually. And who would you thank for making your life just a little bit better during this strange time? And why would you thank that person? Um, my brother and all my, fr and like when we went on a like, and when we like have FaceTimes or like do a six feet apart thing, like they just have positive vibes most of the time. And it makes me feel better. Yeah, it would be much harder if you felt like you were just alone. It's yeah. good that we have our family and friends to connect with. Yeah. Um, okay, Elliot, that's my last question for you, except for if you have anything else that you'd like to add or remember about the um, experience of living through a pandemic. Um, nothing, really. It's just today's pretty good day. 
and yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to stop our recording then, okay? Okay. Thanks, Elliot.